Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Oh, keep going. Uh, hello. Welcome. It's been a while. Hello, Mr. Gas. Um, yeah, it's been a while. There's a couple of them out there, isn't there? There's gotta be. I hear a couple. And I got that noise in my right channel. Hopefully you don't hear it. Uh, how's it going? Uh, I'm, it's, I'm doing okay. I think. I've been busy. And with work and such. And I'm tired. And, boo! I expanded my little, uh, portal area here. Uh, and I, I made this... I narrowed this uh, uh, little tunnel because it was four blocks wide, which didn't really make sense. It was basically these blocks were all gone. And so it was different from all the other tunnels in the nether, in the, in the little nether complex. Um, yeah, so, and I did it, I, I, there's, there's been a few other changes. Let's step through here and I'll show you one of them. Ah, that was weird. Somebody there? Uh, yeah, I moved portal. Uh, well, I, I built a portal here, uh, figuring it would be close enough. So I built the portal up in my base. That was my original portal in and out of the nether. And then I built one down here and that connected up. And I figured this was probably closer. And so... The portal, this was where I returned from the nether. I could enter it from up in my place. But that was okay because people people were traipsing through my base in order to come down here to get at all the villagers and the farms and stuff. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so, so, whoa, hello. I guess the mob farm is working. Hi, Mr. Spider, okay. So, uh, so anyway, I wanted to move some villagers. <coughs> oh, oh, pardon me, sorry. Uh, so I built a, I built a portal here, and now this is where the portal returns from. This isn't the best place, but it's not a horrible place, so I might just leave it here. But I can do things like this. Hello, I can switch that. So now, villagers will pop into here, and I can push them into the nether, and, and all that good stuff. Uh, I upgraded a couple of these guys. Feather falling four for eighteen emeralds. That's a good trade. Uh, binding scripts of binding for twelve. Eh. Uh, it's cheap. Um, yeah. So I, I've been I've been improving some of these uh, some of these trades. I got another neat one up here. Uh, oh, smite five for twenty one isn't isn't bad. And uh, curse of vanishing. Yeah, whatever. So. Curse of Binding is a cute little uh, gag uh, prank, sort of enchantment. Uh, you put it on something, you convince somebody to put on a. You put it. You can put it on like a mob head. So you could. We can. Uh, we put one. VexFX put one on a chicken mob head, and uh, and convinced Risk and C to put it on. And and then he was like, "Wait, I can't get it off. I can't put my helmet back on." Which was funny, um, and then, of course, it meant he had to uh, he had to die in order to uh, get rid of it. So the villagers are doing their thing, and I have a few farmers here. None of oh, hello, Mister White Coat. Your librarian, curse of binding for ten. A oh. hole. Okay, he's a keeper, so I'll have to uh, I'll have to grab him and and see what other trades he has, right? Because curse of binding for ten instead of twelve. Okay, that's cool, but that's not what we were here to do today. So I've got I've got these brown coat librarians here, and they're all they've got potatoes in their inventory because so they're farmers. And none of them are particularly attractive trade-wise. 15 carats is good, but uh, none of these are, like, great 
farmers. So, but I need, I need brown coats to farm potatoes in the pyramid. So I need a couple things, right? I need, uh, so I need some, hey, let's get some tracks and I need some blocks just in case. And then I need a boat. Do I have any spare boats down here? Probably not. I may have to go get a boat. I don't know if I even have any. Oh, this is no good. Okay. Let me go get some wood. Oh, I got wood. I have wood in here. Hello, Mr. Spider. I hear you. Hey. Ah, dang it. Okay. So I need a couple logs. And I'll put you back. And then we can make that. Boop. And we can make a boat. Boop. And put the logs somewhere useful. So we will. Yeah, we can just put the logs up here. That's fine. So I have my little uh, villager transport system. I want to double check. It'll come along here. It'll keep going. And then they will turn into here. Boop. And, uh, and it's far enough away from the village that uh, if I have to manhandle them a little bit, the villagers in the Iron Golem aren't going to care. So, let's get, let's get this high. I don't need you right now. Thank you. And let's get one of you. Hey, hey. Out of my way. Yeah, ha. Huh. So if I push you along there, keep going. Get that power rail. Zoom. Okay, pick up, clean up after myself a little bit here. I'll be back for you. All right. So now he's over there by the portal. And you cannot push mobs, including villagers, into a portal uh, while they're in a minecart. But you uh, you can. You have to remove them from the minecart. Now I'm gonna hit over here, so I'm not hitting his box. And I, that was nice. Did not hurt him at all. Awesome. And the minecart went through the portal as well. So he went right through, and so did the minecart. So we can go through. And on the other side. Hey, dude, what are you looking at? Oh, I bet there's a zombie pig man down there. Okay, now I need to get him out of the portal. And I need to transport him a little bit. <clears throat> and the cool thing about boats on land is you put down a boat and... Um, there, see? They just hop right in it. We can get rid of the uh, hitboxes. Whoops, there we go. And now I can hop in the boat. And this is why I want to expand the area around the portal a little bit. Uh, so that I had room to maneuver the boat around the portal. And also make it consistent with the other portals in the game. So now we can just sail up this way. It must look weird in F5. Ah. Hello, dude. Whoops. Ah. Okay. Try not doing that in F5. Boop. So yeah, here we go. So now we're transporting this guys, these guys through the nether. Now I was I was concerned that these tunnels were a little bit short. They're two and a half blocks tall because I've got half slabs on the floor. Uh, so it's one, two and a half. Uh, but I was concerned. I guess the villagers are less than two blocks. You, it's too short to ride a horse through unfortunately, but don't need it. So I'm just sailing a boat through the portal. Looks very weird. When we get over to the other portal, then things get a little bit more complicated. Huh. And around 
around the corner. Huh. So I think if I put ice down underneath the half slabs, the boats would go much faster, but I don't have to do this a whole lot. I hop down into the portal and pop out and dude is mostly in the portal. I think I can push him a little bit and then do the same thing. Okay, here we go. And he went, oh no, there he is. Hi dude. Okay, so this is why I needed blocks because they're a little bit difficult to get to teleport or transport through the portal. Hi. And because they have their own AI, they will start wandering around. So what I found that I've had to do is A, be a little patient and B, head through the portal and back and block off the escape routes. And I have a boat in my inventory and I have some boats. Come on, I have some boats here. So they will come out here and then I pop them in a boat and I will show you where we're going. But... Hi, dude. You can teleport through the portal. I wonder if it's, they have to move. Like just standing there isn't gonna do it, but if he decides to take a step while standing in the portal, on the portal frame, I wonder if that will cause him to go through. Okay, it just takes a little patience. And we get hungry. I have golden carrots in my pocket, but uh, I have other plans for that. So let me go over here and we'll do thing number two. I have sheep and cows in here now. Okay. So I've done something uh, a little bit uh, amusing. They've switched to these advancements now, right? And so they have um, a variety of... Oh, Adventure Time. 34 of 36. And, there, and there's a bunch... Zombie dot... Wait, I've done that one. Maybe not. Maybe not since updating. Anyway. Oh, Balanced Diet. Eat everything that's edible, even if it's not good for you. Three of 35. Let's do something about that. I've collected all the stuff here. So let's uh, let's go eat. I'm hungry. Let's eat. Ooh, what did that do? Four of 35. So since we updated, I have not eaten an apple. Oh, look, baked potato. Baked potato is going to fill me up. Oh, almost. Oh, I can still eat. I can eat raw beef. I think that mean I think there's a chance I'll get sick from that. Five of thirty-five, pretty good. Okay, raw beef. We're gonna eat this uh, beef. Uh, they don't call it sashimi because it's not fish, but beef uh, carpaccio. Uh, ugh. Ah, oh, it filled me up. Advancements. Six of thirty-five. Very good. I can't eat anything else at the moment because I'm no longer hungry. So we'll see if we can uh, convince this villager to step through the portal. So we'll have the food there. And I've collected basically everything edible in the game. The only thing that I didn't collect... Okay, come on, you can load. The only thing I didn't collect was an enchanted golden apple because I don't have any. But I already ate one. That's one of the, the six that I have eaten so far. Okay, dude. Move. Walk. You could do it. I don't want to punch you. Because I don't even think that would help. Yeah. Oh. It has taken time before, but this is this guy is more stubborn than the others. Maybe I'll just go get it. Maybe I'll go get a friend of his. Maybe I'll just go through on his own. Pop. I'll be back. Hello, are you my buddy? Yes, you are. Oh, I think you're the right one. So let's go put this down here and let's see if we can capture you. 
not for right now, but I want to get you in a little stall so you're nice and happy. And there we go. Hi, welcome to the club. Yes, with your curse of binding for 10. Okay, let's get this other guy out of here. All right, and then, whoops, put you on the path to where I want you to go. Have a nice trip. Okay, I can put these rails away. I have a boat, and let's go, whoops, we can go out this way, let's go. All right, you can stand right there. And let me hit, oh, he went right through again. Sweet. Maybe I need to recapture that guy in a boat and uh, release him again. See if that will induce him to go through the portal. Picked up the boat. Hi, dude. Okay, come on out of the portal, please. And hop in the boat. Oh, uh, where are you going? <laughs> I don't know where you were going, but this, really, this is a nasty place to be. You don't want to go exploring too much. So let's get you over to ooh, the uh, field of view while you're in a boat is a bit uh, disconcerting when you're that close to stuff. It's super wide. All right, so let me get this guy over there, and then we'll see if we can get one or the either of them through the portal. The sound is interesting. Rowing the boat on solid ground. It's almost like the ladder climbing sound. Hey, dude, you can go through the portal. Let's see, can I, I can do this, right? Is that enough for me to get through? Nope. Okay, dude, you stay put. I'm gonna hop out of here. And then I'm going to re-put up these blocks. Push you along, ugh. So I don't want other dude escaping. There we go. I'm sorry, I did not mean to hurt you. Will one of you go through the portal, though? We can uh, get rid of the hitboxes now. Okay, one of you should be willing to go through the portal, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. <sighs> yes. Okay. Okay, probably need to be more patient. Um, we will go through. Now, I want to show you something else, though. Oh. Load the world. I have sheep. And I have cows. And I have... I have a couple of these pens sort of built. Out. Oh, notice, notice this. Did you see that? Look, a bunny. I have two bunnies inside the cow pen and I did not put them there. And I have another bunny just running around inside the pyramid here. Rabbits are able to spawn inside without sky access. All the other passive mobs, they need grass and sky access, I believe, uh, in order to spawn. But rabbits, and the sand bunnies at least, I don't know if this is true across the board, do not. Since we're in a desert, these are the types of rabbits that will spawn. So the I have two guys in here in boats. I moved them over the same way I did those other two that are still in the overworld. And they're in here in their boats. And these villagers are probably contaminated with, with potatoes. So I grabbed these guys when they were brand new little baby villagers. And I did not see them farm. And I did not see anyone throw potatoes at them. 
but it might have happened. So, I have a plan for them. I would like to see if I can get rid of any carrots, sorry, any potatoes they might have. And to do that, I've been growing stuff over here, so I've got potatoes and carrots and, and stuff, and I have a, a hoe, and I've got uh, carrots. I have carrots planted in the ground right here like this um, huh I don't have as many as I thought I did it's interesting but I have some so enough to get started I'm surprised I don't have more I might have carrots over here so and I have a couple of the necessary things over here. Oh, I'm getting hungry again. Let's go get some more food. What's up next? Beetroot. Let's eat the beetroot. Ready? Hello, beetroot. Ah, oh, not very filling. But another thing on my on my list. Oh, beetroot soup. This is probably going to fill me up. Ah, yes. And I can put the ball back. Advancements. 8 of 35. I'm getting there. So, in here, I have some ice, which I will need. Hide that. And I I need... I need some seed lanterns. So, let me, let me get those. I don't need a lot. I don't need that for the time being. So, what we can do is we can run back over here will make us hungry again and I have these guys these pens are all single chunks <laughs> just because I'm kind of obsessed with the whole notion of a single chunk uh, building things in chunk boundaries no good reason now I noticed that none of these guys have managed to escape in all the times that I've been in and out oh more carrots good uh, so that might who knows that maybe that has something to do with something but I'm breeding these guys up, uh, cows and the sheep, to do something with them, which you might be able to guess. Hello, guys. Huh. Who are you looking at? I wonder if there's a zombie outside there. So, we're going to do a couple things. I'm going to dig here. Oop. Oh, I need my pickaxe. put some light down here pop yeah and then we're gonna put down some ice that ice will melt eventually and put down some that and put down some ice so we're gonna build out a little area for these guys to hang out for a little while until I figure out a space to put them oh that one already melted and yeah there we go boop oh i need something carpet i have sheep over there that means i have carpet hang on a sec let's deal okay so i need to put down carpet or something over these blocks of water so that the villagers do not get trapped in them. Hello, I'm going to break this with a piece of carpet. Place down more carpet. Hi, you need to move. Can't really push you, but I can do this. Very good. There we go. Now these will provide light, hopefully sufficient light. Oh. Huh, no, not as much as I was hoping. That's okay, because we are going to do this. And all this is gonna be hydrated, and that means that nothing can spawn on it anyway. Can I hit that one? Huh. 
pop. And then... Oh, uh-oh. Huh. Very good. Now I've got some carrots, which I can plant. So these guys don't need to be in a... Oh, the light level's too low there. Huh. Huh. Okay, obviously I need to rethink my plan a little bit. Light level's too low here. Okay, we'll work that out. Oops. Hey, where'd that go? You can come back here. But I can bust these guys out and they will start farming. Or they should. So let's, uh, look at the hitboxes. Sorry, dude, I don't want to hurt you. There you go. And, sorry, dude, I don't want to hurt you. Nice. Did not hurt either of them. Very good. So, these guys may wait until these are grown, but if they have potatoes in their pocket, which they might, um, then they will want to plant them. So, let's see here. And I want to put on F3. Oh, potatoes. Sorry, I did not I did not actually mean to punch you. Now, he can only have so many potatoes in his pocket. So he's planting potatoes from his inventory. And I think I can maybe <laughs> sit here long enough and get all his potatoes. <laughs> yes, you really want that. You really want that planted, don't you? But I don't want potatoes. I don't I don't want your potatoes. I want you to be a carrot guy. Huh. Nine potatoes. So. Maybe I should only have gotten one of them at a time. Maybe I should put you back in a boat. I put on F3 so I can see what's planted here. Because until they grow up a little bit, it's hard to tell. They're all carrots. Okay. Hi. Did I get all your potatoes? Nine. If somebody had a, a stab... Ten. You got more? Is that all you got? Uh, so if somebody had a stack of 64 potatoes and and somebody threw some at him, he'd have 32. Okay. This might be a little bit tedious. But hey. In theory, eventually, I can get rid of all his potatoes. <laughs> Collect them all from him and turn him into a carrot dude. If not, I may have to go through other measures. Huh. See, we have carrots coming up there. Okay. I can break you, right? Pop. There we go. Look, carrots. Somebody wants carrots, right? Phew. Okay. All right, what else? What are we planning on doing here? I have to go outside the uh, the pyramid here and do some cleanup. I want to start doing some uh, terraforming, which I will work on later. Uh, what else do I need? Move some villages over here. Try to get rid of potatoes. I have a little list. Yeah, and bunnies eating everything. 
I'm working on that. Hello, carrots. You're almost grown up. Are you getting there? All right, so the other thing I need to do here is I need to put some light in here because um, the light isn't really sufficient over the center. I thought it was going to be, but it is not. So what can we do about that? How about we do this? And I have some sea lanterns on my person. And I could do this, right? Pop, 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 and pop. Let's see how that works. Switch back to the... Okay. Whoa, that's... That's lower than I thought, but that means that the light level here is fine, correct? Huh. Okay. Okay, well, this is uh this is a little bit on the boring side. So that's uh that's fine. I will keep an eye on these guys. Standing in carrots. Let these guys grow. And see if I can get these guys to start uh, planting carrots instead of potatoes, which they seem to have a surplus of. Uh, but that's it. Let's see, can I let's go pop pop and pop. Oh, that was dumb. Good thing I have plenty of sea lanterns. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. That's a little less claustrophobic. And hopefully the light levels there are acceptable. Let's see, if I quickly plant some potatoes here and they don't pop off. Should be good. Good. Okay, guys, you can start planting. Or maybe I should go get some more carrots. Huh. 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 They're growing up. All right. I'm sorry. This is uh, fascinating for me, but probably boring as all get out for you. So we're going to end it there. And... Uh, and and leave it there. So I'll see if I can get these guys planting carrots. It could be that the one guy, the one villager that was planting potatoes on me, I could have gotten all the potatoes he had. It's possible. Uh, and once the carrots start popping up, when the carrots start getting grown, they might decide, oh, let's go, let's go get carrots. And that would be very nice because I want some potato farmers and I want some carrot farmers. Because obviously I'm going to make a farm, an auto farm. So that's it. That's all. Uh, we'll leave that for now. And I don't know if I might use. I dug a couple more holes here down to bedrock. And no current idea what to do with it. There's that. And then I got another one over here. And I was hoping at least one of these would be a slime chunk. But. No slime chunk. Um, I think, and I ended up going and uh, pulling up a slime chunk finder just because I was getting frustrated with the lack of slimes. And I think, pretty sure this here is a slime chunk. So I'll dig this one down. I was hoping one of these, I laid out, you know, where to dig out the other holes to make a whole row of single chunk farm thingies there. This is a slime chunk, so I might build a slime farm here. I, of course, have... It's only a single chunk, uh, and I have a two... I think a two-chunk slime farm back underneath my base, but hey. I'm hungry again. Let's eat. Bread. Because bread is super filling, right? Oh, yum. No, it's not. Carrot. Oh. 
Oh, okay, carrot filled me up. Good, and that means advancement 10 of 35, very good. All right, we'll leave it there. Uh, thank you for watching. This is Theron, this has been Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. Right. Bye.